Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to be doing a stress test of the FastCast raycasting module. If you don't know what this is, this is a module designed to replace traditional bullet physics. What it does is every frame creates a raycast. This is hitscan behavior by default. What hitscan is, is, base, is very simple. It's used for most sniper rifles and games and all that. It's where when you click on something, it instantly detects what you click on and does whatever it should do. This is not good, however, for things like rockets or other slower projectiles. And by using traditional physics in Roblox, you can experience some collision issues as well as some performance issues like bullet jittering. This module resolves those issues by simulating bullet physics with hitscan. In this stress test, I have a gun that fires 100 bullets, one bullet every 1 60th of a second, or every frame. This wall over here is 0 0.05 studs thick, the bullets travel at 5,000 studs per second. As you can see, I visualize the casts by a neon line. Each new part is a new cast, or new ray segment. These segments and the length of them depends on how, far, or how fast your bullet's going and other various factors. But as you can see, no bullets pierce the wall. They all hit the wall successfully. And you could also see that by the particle effect that is used whenever a bullet hits something. This module is very fast. I have experienced no lag with it so far, and to show you just how capable it is, I'm going to click six times. That's over 600 bullets within about three seconds. Let's do it. And as you can see, a lot of bullets, and no escape. Now the reason I zoom in when I do this is because there's a, a little engine lag if I zoom out and do this, because Roblox has to add these parts to the render queue, and that can cause a lot of lag because it actually has to process the rendering data every time I create one of those parts. So by zooming in with these parts parented to my character, they don't render, and thus it speeds things up quite a bit. Let me just show you what I mean. See, it's a little bit more laggy there compared to. Well, there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this demo, and thanks for watching. You can find this module in the description of the video. I also have a GitHub link showing off the API, just like a traditional Roblox wiki page. Th thanks for watching.